we solve problems And you just never solve them Cause you always in drama It's alarming, it's alarming Girl, I just need clarity Can you just let me breathe, oh I don't wanna let you in But it's too late now So it's time for another match day vlog on the channel and we have got something different for you guys today. We've got Rochdale versus Oldershot Town in the Vanarama National League. Now this is something a lot different in comparison to what we've been doing lately. But in terms of that we've got a lot of different fixtures coming up for you on the channel within the coming weeks slash months. Now we've got Rochdale who are in ninth and Oldershot who are in 6th which makes it a big game as a whole because can Rochdale get one step closer to the playoffs or can Aldershot just get even further into the playoff positions it's it's one of them and we all know how good Aldershot Town have been but the question is what can we learn about the two teams in question today now the last time both teams faced off against each other it finished Rochdale 4 Aldershot Town 1 but knowing the fact that Aldershot put 7 past Swindon Town it begs the question what would the score be today between the two teams? Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be something like 7-1 or 7-4, like what the result was or something like that. But score predictions today, I'm going to go for a Rochdale 1, Aldershot Town 2. Now, I think, honestly, I just can't wait to learn about the, the clubs, the stadium, you know, and stuff like that. And hopefully get a couple of fan interviews as well. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe and tap that bell for more notifications for as I end up upload. And I shall see you guys at the Spotland Stadium. So I'm here today with Aldershot Town YouTuber Hiccup EU. Make sure you go check out his YouTube channel in the link down the description down below. But obviously Rochdale versus Aldershot, what do we expect today, mate? I think we're going to expect a very good game. Aldershot's last away game was a 7-4 win over Swindon. You find yourself 7 and up in 60 minutes. And you're just wondering what's going on. But yeah, we're on a brilliant run of form. We're currently sat sixth on the table, second round of the FA Cup. We're flying and yeah, I think it's going to be a cracker. So in regards to all the shot, obviously high flying in the National League as in comparison to last season, you've had a, um, a complete turnaround to say the least. What do we expect in terms of football and ability-wise from all the shot today? We're very good at playing out from the back. We're a very strongly possession-based side. We're very fast on the counter-attack. We've got players, I don't think Lauren's playing today, but we've got Josh Stokes, Jack Barham. We'll just hit you just like that. We'll soak up the pressure and then bang, before you know it, it's a few passes when we are. And we're just extremely clinical. We've scored so many goals this season. Yes, our away form in the league is not exactly the greatest, but we'll be coming here, we'll be coming here today full of confidence and I'll back us to get a result. And who's the, who would you say is the player to watch for the older shot today? Oh, Josh Stokes by far. He's 19 years old. He's on nine goals. He's absolutely flying. Arguably the best player in the league. For me, he's got to be, not the best player, the best young player in the league. Sorry, he is just unbelievable. And yeah, he, you better watch out for him because I'll bag him to score today. What do you reckon the score to be? You know, it's tough, but oh, you just got to back your boys, don't you? I'm saying Aldershot 2, Rochdale 1. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on, mate. Make sure everyone goes and checks out his YouTube channel in the link down the description down below. Enjoy the game, mate. Cheers, thank you. So I'm here with David. David is a Rochdale fan. How's life settling in League 2 for you so far, mate? Oh, dear me, totally inconsistent. It's a roller coaster, mate, I'll tell you. At the start of the season, I would have settled for where we are now, purely and simply on the grounds. We didn't want to be the new Scunthorpe yep. or the new South End. And I mean, that, that, that's the, the worst case scenario, obviously. But playing some nice football, uh, winning games, scoring goals. I mean, it's been a bit of a car crash the last two seasons. Yep. So any, any, anything that's entertaining and keeps us happy when we're going home is great. Perfect. Well, um, what's your thoughts on today's game, obviously going into the game against Aldershot? Uh, I'm normally optimistic, but there's a little bit of trepidation with this one, because to be honest with you, I look at their form and how they're going, and I couldn't believe it. I had to pinch myself the other week when they scored seven goals at Swindon in the cup. I mean, that was a, oh, what's that all about type of result, wasn't it? So, I'd be happy to win, more than happy to win, but I think if you got a draw, I'd be thinking, well, that's OK, that's a good result. Who would you say is the player to watch for Rochdale? I love the midfield we've got now. I love to, uh, 
lad lying east who's on loan from Bradford City. Now, what Mark Hughes didn't see in this lad, I don't know, but that is, you know, Adam Flayton, who, who's been yeah. around the league forever. But the kid who's exciting to my mind is a lad called Kean Hayes. He's on loan from Fleetwood. Plays on the right, but he's all left foot. Cuts inside, shoots. Really great prospect. And last thing as well, a score prediction for today's game. I'd settle for three apiece. Perfect. Thanks so much for coming on, mate, and enjoy the game. Uh, you're welcome. Take care.
post, puts in the back of that, and it's Rochdale 2, maybe some sample.